Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally going to be getting rid of these uh, terrible tires, OEM Goodyears. They have about 22,000 miles on them. They're pretty shot. The rears are worse because they used to be in the front as I was telling you before. So we're going to be replacing them with some ultra high performance all seasons. That's the rear, pretty much done. So I'm on my way to the shop right now to get them installed. I'll tell you what they are as soon as I get them, show you some uh, footage of what they look like, and I'm going to be doing just a general quick review initially, and then I will be doing like a, a week or two review on how I really like them after driving with them for some time, because initially it's just not an accurate uh, review of something. So let's go off to the shop right now and get these things installed. tires these are general g-max aso5s in size 245-4019 got a really nice sidewall tread pattern it's supposed to have really good ratings so we'll see how well they work out but the guys just got the car on the lift and they're gonna be uh, mounting these up Okay, so finally got the tires installed. Took a little while, but these are them. This is what they look like on the car. Really nice tread pattern. And the size is 245, 40, 19 which is basically only one size wider than stock. It's actually going to happen. Excuse the wind, the sidewall will get slightly thicker if you notice. So it will be a little bit thicker in the sidewall. So you get a little bit nicer ride. The traction should be better. I didn't really test them out too much yet to be honest, so I'm not going to start making any claims as of yet. have 20 millimeter spacers H and R sport springs. So since it's a slightly taller built in the back and in the back. And the back. It has a nice wide stance now. It actually makes a bigger difference than I had expected. sunlight's really a pain, it's hard to get good footage, but I'm trying to do the best I can, guys. So far, the main takeaways from these tires so far, they're definitely riding quieter instantly. I could feel they're riding much quieter than the OEM Goodyears I had for two reasons. One, the Goodyears were old and worn, and the other reason is the slightly thicker sidewall. These are still new, so it's to be determined how well they'll, how well they'll ride in the long term, but right now as we stand, brand new. Huge improvement over road noise, bumps, and just overall ride quality. I haven't done any launches or anything like that to see how much better the traction is. I'm assuming it's gonna be quite a bit better, but I'm breaking them in a little bit. It is one size wider with a little more sidewall, so you get a little more flex. So all in all, I'm very happy with the purchase. The tire looks great. Once again, I'll just bring you in. The tire looks really, really nice on the car. supposed to be good with snow traction rain it's an ultra high performance all season so it's really just pretty much the best of all all the worlds in every situation so let's see how it actually does I'll do a further review once I actually go through some more conditions 
and give you a better update but so far I'm happy with these and these are the general G-Max ASO5s in size 245 40 19 and I believe this tire is W rated so yeah it's a W rated tire so that's good for I believe 168 miles an hour I don't plan going faster than that it's a sedan I can put my kids in here so good enough for me and that's pretty much it guys I'm gonna update you with more information I'm gonna do some draggy runs to see how much better these are from a dig and that's it so remember to like the video and I'll see you guys next time take care